today. I'm happy to see you again. Today I'm going to read you about the little match girl. This story is about a poor orphaned girl who is trying to sell matches on a cold New Year's Eve. Most terribly cold it was, it snowed and it was nearly quiet dark evening. In this cold and darkness, a poor little girl, bareheaded and with bare food. Her little hands were almost numbed with cold. Oh, a match might afford her a world of comfort if she only dared take a single one of out the bundle, draw it against the wall, and warm her fingers by it. She drew one out. Rich! How it blazed! How it burned! It was a warm, bright flame like a candle. As she held her hand over it, it was a wonderful light. It seemed really to the little maiden as though she were sitting before a large iron stove. The little girl had already stretched out her feet to warm them too, but the small flame went out. The stove vanished. She had only the remains of the burnt out match in her hand. She rubbed another against the wall. It burned brightly, and where the light fell on the wall, there the wall became transparent like a veil, so that she could see into, her, into the room. On the table was spread a snow white tablecloth. Upon it was a splendid porcelain service, and the roast ghost was steaming famously with its stuffing of apple and dried plums. The match went out again, and nothing but the thick, cold, damp wall was left behind. She lighted another match. Now there she was sitting under the most magnificent Christmas tree. It was still larger and more decorated than the one which she had seen through the glass door in the rich merchant's house. Thousands of lights were burning on the green branches and gaily colored pictures, such as she had seen in the shop windows, looked down upon her. The little maiden stretched out her hands towards them when the match went out. The lights of the Christmas tree rose higher and higher. She saw them now as stars in heaven. One fell down and formed a long trail of fire. Someone is just dead, said the little girl. For her old grandmother, the only person who had loved her and who was now no more, had told her that when a star falls, a soul ascends to God. Grandmother, cried the little girl, oh, take me with you. You go away when the match burns out. You vanish like the warm stove, like the magnificent Christmas tree. And she rubbed the whole bundle of matches quickly against the wall, for she wanted to be quite sure of keeping her grandmother near her. And the matches gave such a brilliant light that it was brighter than at a noonday. And suddenly, a fairy appeared out the match flame. She smiled at the match girl with all sincerity and said, Come with me, little girl. The match girl was a little scared at first, but the match was about to go out again. She had to hurry. She wanted to warm herself and suddenly she decided to go with her. She held out her hand to fairy. 
she rose up into the sky with the fairy. She saw her grandma ahead and ran to hug her. And that's the end of the story. Okay, kids, that's all for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. See you next time.